Hi, this is Penny with In Stitches with Penny. Today I'm going to show you how to make an infinity scarf for just a half a yard. So an infinity scarf is just that. It just keeps going round and round. It's just a tube. And I made one here with a velour, which is pretty thick. I would really use something a little bit lighter. But, you know, for the winter time, it looks really cute on. And you can make them a little bit longer depending on the, the width of your fabric. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make an infinity scarf out of just a half a yard. So this fabric I had in my stash and I have a yard. And I really, I've already made a little shell top out of it. So I really don't know what else I'm gonna do with it. So I thought, you know, I could make an infinity scarf and just kind of jazz up another outfit. So this is like a lightweight knit, has just a little stretch. And I do recommend that you kind of keep your fabric on the thinner side. And I had this fabric I, oh, I guess I got this at Joann's. <laughs> That's what it says. And I thought it was really pretty. I didn't spend much for this. I found it on the remnant table. And it's just, it's a, got really pretty fall colors. It'd be nice to go with that Tiffany blue color or just jazz up a cream top. So I think I'll make one out of that one. And this is a crepe de chine. So it's just a polyester, just real lightweight. It'll drape really nice. And you want your fabric to drape, you know, just to have some, I guess it just crushes nice and you can kind of mold it to whatever shape you want. And then I found this one. I just thought this was really cute. Again, I made a top out of this. So if I make a scarf, then it kind of, you know, pulls together my outfit. So we're gonna make these three on, in this tutorial, but we're gonna start out with this one. So really, you don't even need a pattern, <laughs> honestly. Uh, just you, whatever width your fabric is, this one is, I believe, well, let's just see how, how wide it is. This one is gonna be 56 inches wide which is perfect. You can do anywhere between 44, and I think the wider width will work better, especially it has a little bit of stretch to it, and you're gonna cut a little over, I like to cut a little, like 20 inches wide. So it's a little over a half yard. If you have a half yard, that's fine. It'll still scrunch up nicely as a scarf. Okay, like I said before, we're gonna do a 20 inch wide cut on this fabric. So I've, I've already cut down through the check here. So I'm just gonna measure this out at about 20 inches. And if all you have is a half yard, that's fine. Now, if you have a check like this and you want it to match, just cut it one layer at a time. Just snip it down here at the, at the fold and go ahead and cut all the way down. And you'll see I'm not cutting on the bottom layer here. That'll be next, once I get through this whole length. And if you don't care that it matches, don't worry about it, just cut it. Cut both layers. All right, so there's the first layer. Now we're gonna come in and cut the second layer. I just like to do it this way. Just make sure that, you know, your, your checks aren't going at a crazy angle. But if you just have a print and it doesn't matter, I wouldn't go through this trouble. And it's really no trouble. It's just a little extra step. So you might have, what, two minutes involved here. Probably not even that. Okay, so there's one for another time. So here is your, your scarf, and what we're gonna do is take it long ways, and we are going to stitch only along this edge, leaving the ends open, 
with right sides facing, just like that. So I'll come through here and I'll just pin this. And serging it works well too. So you can kind of see here, if I want to match, then I just go ahead and I can pull that down and look at it. This one tends to roll a little bit, you know, just, it's just the way it is. I wouldn't stress over it because since it's a scarf, you can scrunch it up and those little imperfections probably won't be seen to most people. <laughs> Unless they're really looking for it. And you know, if they're really looking for it that hard, you need new friends. <laughs> so it makes a great gift idea. It, you know, this literally will take you less than a half an hour. I will probably, like I said before, I will probably surge it just to give it a little bit more st stability. And don't poke yourself like I did. So we're gonna pin this all the way down. And remember, we're gonna leave the edges open, both edges open. That'll be the next step, but for now, we're just making a long tube. So be make a great birthday gift, make a great Christmas gift. Just, you know, or if you just need to add to your wardrobe, just one simple little thing. It's always good to layer your items when you wear them. I always like to add a jacket because it just adds so much. But a scarf adds even another layer. I don't know if you like to go shopping like I do. I do. <laughs> but I love to look at scarves. Hermes has beautiful scarves. They're really expensive though. But you know, sometimes that's what you need for <laughs> to make that outfit just perfect. But I want you, I just want to, you to see how easy it is. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stitch all the way down and then I'll come back and we'll do the next step. So you can see I left the ends open and I surged all the way down this one side leaving the other end open just like that. Since my fabric is curling, which it, that's at the selvage so you know that's kind of common, I'm just going to trim that off just to make it easier for sewing. Alright, there we go. So now we're gonna reach in without twisting it and we're gonna pull that end through. So we want right sides together, just like that. And we're gonna take our seams, match those up and pin it. So see, we have kind of like a sausage. But we're gonna leave a little opening so we can turn this inside out. I mean, we're almost done here. I'm just gonna pin this, we're gonna determine, I like to do it away from the seam and leave about a three inch, just kind of make sure I get maybe a four inch gap there. So let's just measure that out. Four inches and 
there and there, just like that. So we're not going to stitch from here to here, which means we'll start here, we'll stitch around and stop there. And you'll see why once we get to that next step. And I'm not going to surge this part because of that starting and stopping. It kind of leaves that part a little bit awkward. Just kind of play with your fabric so it evens up. We're going to do, I usually, I like the 5 8 inch seam. It just gives us plenty of room to work with. Okay, so you, you see, I've got this pinned all the way around. I'm gonna start from right here, this point right here. I'm gonna stitch around all the way to this other point, leaving this four inch gap. I've stitched all the way around and I left op open this gap right here and that's because I want to be able to stick my hand in there and pull all of this out gently and you now have this this beautiful tube just like that there's no seam on the one side. I like to put it on the fold so you only have one seam. That way you know that's in the back. And we'll go through here, and I didn't do too bad. I was just kind of doing that blind. We'll press that down. And then see right here, our opening, we're gonna wanna close that up. We can hand stitch that, or you can just take a a little small like eighth of an inch seam right through there and you know don't worry about if you want to stitch it with a sewing machine because you can honestly make that the inside and no one would be the wiser <laughs> so here you go and it's that simple so it really is that simple i still need to finish up that one open edge but as you can see i know this already has a cowl so we'll, pre we'll pretend it doesn't <laughs> and just go ahead and you can use it for inside outside you know as a fashion statement and there you go and you can pull it down Pull this up. I mean, you can style it so many ways. And just play with it till you like it. And that's how easy it is to make an infinity scarf with 20 inches of fabric. <laughs> so you'll see I went ahead and I just top stitched all the way through just so it looks like it's supposed to be like that and that holds it in place so it's not going to twist around and that will indicate that that is the back of your scarf and feel free to, to put a label in there there's some really cool label companies out there and you'll know that's your back and then just twist it around and then fluff it up and you've got a scarf so there you go. So I just showed you how to make a scarf here out of uh, a half a yard or 20 inches by, this was uh, 56 inches wide, I believe. Now if your stripe is going this way, you're going to need 60 inches long. 
So let's measure that out. So we're gonna go this way. So we're gonna cut a 60 inch long piece. And that's just because I want, I want the stripes to go around. You could make it to where the stripes went up and down. That is totally fine, it's all up to you. But feel free to move around the fabric just a little bit. Now this fabric, I believe, is only 45 inches wide. Yes. So, which would make it a little tight if you're making a scarf. So, when you do the 45 inches wide, go ahead and cut 60 inches and then just cut it in half down lengthwise. All right, so 30 inches, we'll just do that twice. And this is a good way to use up your scraps. Okay, so now we're just gonna cut this just like that. I'll still get two scarves out of it. You're just using more fabric. But if you got the fabric off the remnant bin, it's not gonna be that expensive anyway. So now we're just gonna go through, we're gonna cut this in half. Let's see, where's my edge? Here we go. Look how pretty this is. I just love the colors. Almost jewel tone. So now I'm gonna cut through the fold, just right along here, all the way down. All the way down my fabric, and then I'll have two scarves that I'll be making. So you still don't need a pattern. Now remember, I'm doing this for 45 inches wide fabric. Just because it's not quite long enough to make a scarf. Not an infinity scarf anyway, where you want it to go around your head. It would all, probably only go around your head once. And the infinity scarves, you really want them to go around twice. So now we're gonna fold up just like that. and pin down this long, narrow side. And we're gonna do the same thing. So again, this one took a yard and a half, how do yard, yard and a half? 60 inches. So 36 and 18, almost two yards. All over a yard and a half. Okay, that one's gonna, and this is a crepe de chine, so it's really nice and flowy. Perfect for summer. Really any any season, where you just want to add that one little touch. All right, so we're gonna stitch all the way down this long side, leaving the ends open. This time you'll notice I didn't serge it. I just, I really didn't have the right thread on my serger, but I wanted to show you, you can go ahead and just stitch down through here. Now I will take this to the iron and open this seam up and iron that down flat. That'll just look better in the finished garment. Then the next step, 
uh, join me for the next step. So I thought I would just use my sleeve board to iron this seam down flat. I'll just open up the pieces if I can. Just can't seem to grab it. There we go. And I'm gonna lay it through here. I'm gonna open up this seam. I'm gonna just press that down. And we don't care about the raw edges. All of this is gonna be on the inside of the scarf anyway. So just bring your iron in through here. This just gives it a polished look. Always use your iron. I think that distinguishes between homemade and professional looking. And I just really liked this fabric. I thought it would be pretty for a scarf. That's what I originally purchased it for. I did make a little tank top that I wore last summer with little cap sleeves. So this will go with that as well, just to add one more dimension. If you find really pretty fabric that, you know, on if you find really pretty fabric on the remnant table, man, go for it. Just make some scarves. It'll be such an inexpensive item to add to your wardrobe. All right, now we're ready. Oop, gotta go this way. For the next step that I showed you in this one. That is, let's take our seam and just run your hand, your arm right along that seam we just pressed open and grab it and bring it through without twisting it. And we're going to join it right here on the other end. And we're gonna pin all the way around this tube, leaving open a four inch gap. All right, so we've stitched all the way around. Now we can pull this through. This is why you want four inches. I have kind of a wide hand. So that's why I do four. You may only need three. Okay, so we're gonna pull this through. Just like that. And you'll see, this is why I did it lengthwise. It's because I wanted this uh, pattern, the, the stripe, to go that way. And so then when I put it on, your, the stripes go around. Now you can certainly do it with the stripes this way. That's totally fine. But this is another way to just kind of look at your fabric and decide which which way you want to cut your fabric to make your scarf. So next, all we need to do is sew up this seam. Where are we here? Here we go. We're just ready to, sew, to stitch this up. And I'm just going to take it from one end all the way to the other. And again, you can put in a nice, pretty handmade by Penny. <laughs> I need some of those need something and then uh, stitch that up and then a scarf will be done. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I've got that stitched down. Just get rid of my extra little threads. We'll go ahead and press that one more time. And I like to press it and you know, just kind of open it up and give it one more press so you have some definite lines and get rid of the wrinkles. I think this was the perfect choice in fabric for this scarf. I can see I'll get a lot of use out of this. Or I might give it away. I only have enough fabric left on that bolt to do one where the stripes would go this way. But since it's 45 inches wide, that would probably not be enough. All right, so we've made two. We've made the check and then the stripe, this really pretty stripe. So I wanna show you how to style this with really what I already have in my closet. So last year for summer, I made this little top. I think it was a Green Line Studio pattern, I think. It's just a simple little woven t-shirt. So let's just go ahead and put this on here. I'm my little blue gal. So just like that with a really pretty necklace is fine. But now, and remember the stitch side goes in the back. Now I have this really pretty scarf that I can wear with, with this top. Just kind of play with it. And now it's changed the whole look and you can put a, a solid jacket with it and even wear it with blue jeans. And that would be really, really cute. So there's one. We'll take this off. Now this was a super simple tank. It's just a tank with the seams rolled in. Really great for summer. Don't wear it too much in the winter because it's just not, not enough warmth going on. This is that stretch knit. Okay, so we've got this little tank, which is cute on its own. But now we can add another layer. See, just like that. So now that's just a whole, whole different top there. Now you don't have to match the scarves with the tops because if you give this away as a gift, chances are they don't have a top made out of the same fabric. But that's what you can do if you're sewing your own tops. Let's say they have a Chico's top, kind of like this, just a little tank top. These are great, by the way, easy to make a pattern off of. So we just have a little, you know, a little white tank top, could be a t-shirt, could be anything really, could be a long sleeve blouse. Put this on here. There we go. Okay. And now we can add a layer of the black, maybe some red jewelry accessories to go with that. You know, that's super cute. Or, we can, now Crepe de Chine will style anything up. You know, it just puts up a different level. You can also put a brooch or something right here. You can wear it that way. Or you can just simply fold it over, you know, double it around your neck and then pull this out however you like. However is more is the most comfortable. And that seam is in the back. Nobody can see it. It's usually right underneath. 
So here's the seam and we've got this. So feel free to top stitch that right there because no one will see it. And just let your, you know, your person, your friend know that you um, meant that to be the back. See, just like that. So super simple. So I really hope you liked making these scarves. I've got one more to go with this beautiful fall-ish, wintry crepe de chine. It is a crepe de chine. It has a little different feel than this one, but it'll uh, make up just nicely. So if you don't know what to make with your uh, stash, <laughs> which I don't have a big stash, but there's some things where I, I purchased the fabric thinking I was going to make a top. Then I decided, oh, I don't know if I really want a top out of that. Make a scarf. It'll just make a big statement and then just have a simple solid underneath of it. And then you've got a wardrobe that just is, that can go infinite. <laughs> so thank you and like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you'll make an infinity scarf. Please share them with me. I'm at Instagram at In Stitches with Penny. And I'm also on Facebook now with, at In Stitches with Penny. And... YouTube. <laughs> I think it's those three platforms that I'm on. Uh, here at YouTube, go ahead and like and subscribe. So have a wonderful day and I will chat with you soon. Bye.